coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat. Sunny falls for a successful businesswoman who might be the key to their investigation in the episode by Hooker by Crook. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from March 16th to March 22nd, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on March 19th, Jim Baker resigned from PTL after admitting to a payoff to Jessica Hahn, who accused the televangelist of drugging and raping her. Baker would later be found guilty of fraud and conspiracy, ultimately being sentenced to eight years in prison. Jerry Falwell would take the place of Jim Baker at PTL and in the wake of the news would call Baker a liar and a sexual deviant. You know it's bad when Jerry Falwell can judge you. In music, Bon Jovi finally gives up the number one spot and brings a return of Huey Lewis and the News to the top of the Hot 100. Jacob's Ladder is the third single released from the album 4 and would only hold the top spot for one week. This song represents one of the reasons why I love the 80s. Pop culture changed so fast, you never knew what could happen each week. In movies, as you know from last week, Lethal Weapon made its debut and will hold the box office for three weeks, but it gives us the perfect opportunity to look at other movies I mentioned last week. I'm going to skip Burt Reynolds and focus on two classics. First is Raising Arizona, directed by the Coen brothers and starring Nicolas Cage, Holly Hunter, John Goodman, Randall Tex Cobb, and more. Raising Arizona is a classic and has gained a significant following in the years since its release. But more important than any other movie in the 80s, On March 13th, the parody sequel, Evil Dead 2, was released and is the single greatest movie of our time ever graced screens across America. It stars the greatest living actor, the one, the only Bruce Campbell. Written by Sam Raimi, who also directed, and Scott Spiegel, they wrote the movie while living with the Coen brothers, Francis McDormand and Holly Hunter. You know... From the classic film Raising Arizona, Evil Dead 2 is the definition of a cult film, and I have no shame in saying it is easily one of my top three favorite movies ever. Groovy. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com, or tweet at me at GoWithTheHeat. That's going to do it for this week. Bye, pals.